Hey guys, Andrew here with Lost in Sound. I wanted to show you how I typically connect this Behringer X-Touch uh, to this M32C. Uh, I've also used this plenty of times with an X32 rack uh, with a full-size M32 console that happens to be sitting here. Um, and uh, let's see, with an XR18 and an XR12. It'll work with any M32, X32, XR series, MR series, uh, or the X18, which is uh, another outlier. Uh, so this works with any of those. All you need basically is one of those mixers, uh, one typical standard wireless router. In this, uh, in this typical situation, I'm using the, an older version Apple Airport Extreme. I'm gonna go ahead and power this rack up. So the M32C and the router will go ahead and start powering up. Uh, on this particular series, this orange light will turn to green when our wireless network is up and running. And once that happens, I will go ahead and connect our wireless clients. So in this case, that's gonna be this uh, laptop here. And I've got this, this is the Apple Airport Express. It's another older Apple device, they don't make these anymore. Uh, but this is configured to be a wireless bridge. A lot of routers can be uh, configured to be a wireless bridge, which basically means when I plug this in, once this network is booted up, I will plug this in and this guy will join that network and then will allow me to take this ethernet cable and uh, plug it into any hardwired ethernet device. And then that device, in this case, the X-Touch, will now join this wireless network. All right, so this light is green, which means our network is up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in power to this uh, Airport Express, which is our wireless bridge. Um, and let's go ahead and plug that in all the way. There we go. Um, so this is kind of the same thing. This light is orange. Whenever, whenever it turns green, that means um, it has connected to this network. Um, so I'm going to give it a minute. I'm going to go ahead and jump onto this network here with the computer while we're waiting. And then I've got M32 Edit open. Uh, and it's now asking me if I want to connect to the mixer. I do. And so you can see that this computer is kind of dummying up to uh, syncing up with the mixer settings. All right, so now our computer, which is our first wireless client, is connected. And now this guy has just turned green. This is our second wireless client. And so now I'll take this ethernet cable, which again, is just based, this is just acting as a wireless bridge for any hardwired device. So you can see that nothing is plugged into my X-Touch except for a power cable. And so now I'll take that ethernet cable and plug it in. And power it on. Usually takes five to 10 seconds or so to, uh, to go ahead and join once, once this guy has already connected. So we'll give it a minute. You'll see the faders pop up and these scribble strips will probably turn red and they just did. So now you're looking at the uh, same channels that you can see on the computer over here. I know it's kind of hard to see, it's far away, but you can see probably that this is red here and we're looking at those first eight channels. And you might be able to see that when I move faders on the X-Touch, then the faders on the computer over there are moving up and down and vice versa. So I can take a fader on the computer screen and you can see this guy right here moving up and down. So anyway, that's a quick overview of how I connect this X-Touch wirelessly through this wireless bridge to a standard wireless router. You can do this with pretty much any two wireless routers, one uh, set up as a typical access point and the other one set up as a wireless bridge. Thanks, hope that helps.